San Jose, and I'm in charge of license plates. Many of you that run ISPs and software product companies can relate to this. After you have finished coding and you have everything ready to publish your software, then you start thinking about licensing. Most of us have an idea of what we would like to be. The most famous software protection scheme that we know is the one used by Windows and Office. Just type a serial key number and activation happens in the backend. LicensePod was built to make it easy for developers to integrate their products with an easy to use licensing software that already includes an activation server. Using the same scheme as Windows, your customers are provided with a serial number and activation happens in the backend. But we wanted to go a step further with LicensePod and help ISPs live by making the process of managing licenses easier. That's why we included features for customer management so you can easily search for a customer and find what product they activated, when and what is the serial key number. Ability to revoke licenses so you can invalidate a serial number from the server if you find it to be compromised. Product management so you know which products are generating more licenses and what products customers have activated. License templates so with a single API call, you create licenses with predefined values. Email management, so you can send alerts to customers that include their serial numbers when they buy your product from your online store. RESTful API, so you can integrate with your e-commerce site or any other application. Everything on the one roof gives entrepreneurs more bang from their back and an easy way to manage their product deployments. Keep errors are the basic stand in which you build licenses and provides a mechanism to verify serial numbers. Keys are safe on our servers and can only be accessed upon request. Public keys are available for you to integrate with your application. To create key pairs, go to the admin menu and select key pairs. Then select add a new key pair, enter the name and click save. A brand new set of key pairs are created. At this point, you can download the public key or view it directly when you click on the keeper. Remember, only the public key is available to you. Products represent the actual software you sell. You can configure multiple versions of a single product. This way, you can track licenses for multiple versions or create new licenses valid for specific versions of your software. To create a product, go to the Products option at the top menu. To create a new product, select Add a new product. Enter a name for the product and click Save. Automatically, version 1.0 is created for the product. To edit versions, click on the version column of the, for the product. A list of versions will appear. To create a new version, select Add a new product version. Enter a name for the version and click Save. License templates define settings and default values when creating new licenses. When you create a new license, you must first select the license template to apply. For example, you can have a trial license template that specifies a time limit like 30 days. Then you can have a production license template for licenses when a customer buys with other limits. To create a new license template, select the license template from the top menu. Click on Add a new license template. Enter the name for the template, then select the product and version to which the template applies, and the keepers to use. Specify a callback URL if you want to invoke a web service or web page when a new license is created. For example, you might want to update your e-commerce application when a product license is created for your customer and mark the order as fulfilled. Click Save. The next step is to specify limits for the template. For example, specify a trial limit if you want to create a license valid for a specific period of time, or an activation limit if the license needs to be activated with the license pod server to be valid. After selecting the limit, specify default values. Then enter custom properties you wish to track for your license. You can enter an unlimited amount of properties like customer name, company, order number, product level, etc. With properties, you can attach specific information about the product, customer, software with the license. Then you can query these properties from inside your software. 
For example, you can use custom properties to track if a customer bought the light version or the full version of your software and limit the future dependent on this. When you subscribe to License Pub, you also get our free licensing component. In this case, we have a sample Windows Forms application. The first step for adding licensing to your application is to check when the software starts if a valid license exists. This is as simple as two lines of code. First, we load the license and then invoke the validate method. The method will return true or false depending on the license state. The invalid reason property will give you a message if the license is invalid. One other thing you can do with the component is to invoke remote methods for license pod restful API. The advantage is that the component has the necessary code for doing this. In this example, we are invoking the create customer method. You would do this from your e-commerce server after the customer has bid for the order. You could then create the customer in the license pod database for then creating a license. On the license pod server component, you specify for your API key and invoke the customer add method with its parameters. Add XML is returned with the customer details and the customer ID needed for invoking the add license method. On your e-commerce server, the next step would be to create the license. First, you create a license pod server object with your API, then invoke the customer get API method to get the customer information from the email address. From the result, grab the customer ID. In this sample, we are also sending two custom properties for the license, the customer name and the company name. This information will be saved as part of the license itself and can be queried from inside your software using the provided licensing component. Now we call the license add API method. We send the customer ID, the license template to use, and the custom properties. You can get the license template ID by going to the web application and selecting the template. After invoking the method, the resulting license comes, comes back as an XML. You can query the license and get the serial number created for the customer. You can send the serial number to the customer within an email or use an email trigger from LicensePod. Now the customer can activate the application using the serial number. Activation from code is very simple. Just invoke the activate method and the resulting license is returned with an XML format. Save the file using the component so the application can find it later on. The file is protected and cannot be modified by the user. Now the application is valid.
here we can have a look at the actual license file. The serial number and the custom properties are inside the file. Any changes made to the file automatically renders the license invalid. There's no way to generate a valid license if it doesn't come from license spot. From the License Manager, you can manage your licenses. Here you can see the serial number created for the test. Also you can view the customer details and what license template was used to create the license. You can revoke the license if it has become compromised. Letter checks from your application can render the product inoperable. Customer details can be accessed from the license web application. 